Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to my Project Ozone 3 Capital Mode playthrough. Last episode, we left off crafting up the Arcane Workbench. So, go ahead and check out how this is going to work. I don't know if it's just like a normal, just a normal workbench. It does appear to be just a normal. A normal kind of thing here. So, mana infused dust can be made this way with the torch berries and the osmium and simple crystals, but it can also be made in this arcane, arcane forge. To make the arcane forge, we need to do it in this arcane crafting table. We need the six iron and iron bucket to furnace and this thing. Now, I don't know if this needs power or anything, or can I just, can I just kind of put it over here? Does it need to be like far away? I don't know. A little closer. All my stuff. As I totally forgot what I was crafting up, Arcane Forge. Lava, not redstone. Well, we're gonna need a couple redstone in a bit. I need a lava bucket. Move my lava over here. These are just to pull it out of there because that is auto filling now. I should have. Should have like a auto. Or just a stack of some compressed cobble, because it's annoying when I need to make the furnaces. That and I use arcane. Oh, I used that, didn't I? I used it to craft up. Dang it. Alright, so I need more... Yeah, I need more of those torch bears things, don't I? Ah, that's annoying. All right, let me go grab these and we'll be right back. All right, we are back and got that. I need the these. So there is that. Do I have everything? It looks like I have everything for this. So does this just go in? that and like that all right it does it's just like a normal crafting table it seems like so the thing and the mana infuse I'm assuming we have the research because if we don't it would be red and I just put two redstone in and that's that. Ooh. Alright, so you need some sort of a mana. Alright, so that's that's a thing. Alright. So I figured there must be some sort of a something, but uh, unfortunately we don't really know. Well, man, if you need something in Lorca, do not order dictionary with each other crafting material. All right. Yeah. See, we're getting that. All right. So now we're back into. <laughs> All right, so it looks like a furnace and a crafting recipe, but this, the mana thing. All right, so, oh, here we go. Mana system works by use of block known as the void. In oh, I did read about this, sort of. Increase your mana capacity, place an elemental siphon into it, and then fill it. All ah, right, so we do need a void interface. It's this thing. This is used to store magic, yeah. 
did read about that. Man, another of the... Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and night meddling gets... That's annoying. All right. Um, again, I'm going to have to get more, though. I didn't get too many. I did got some. Oh, I have a, actually quite a few from the chests. And they dropped quite a bit from mobs. So it wasn't super difficult to get. I'm assuming we'll probably get more than... Yeah, we're getting two from that. All right. Uh, let me, yeah, let me go get more of this. I don't know how much more of this stuff we're going to need. What else? I'm trying to, I want to get it. The mana siphon, I think is, if I, no. I remember seeing that. I don't, here they are. So. I want to do like fire. And that's not too bad. Searing crystal is right. All right. So I think I only need one. I'm just trying to avoid getting torch berries. It's kind of what um, I don't want to get those any more than I need to. So. All right. So can you use any of the types of mana? I guess you can. It doesn't say. All right, well, let me go get some more of those torchberries and we'll be back. Thankfully, they're not too difficult to find. And we are back. Craft that up and we need the void interface. Got that. And I am all sorts of not prepared here. <laughs> Usually I get a little more prepared than this, but well. plenty of electrotine from our our sieving. Living sand, right? Yeah. Alright, there is one. One more. At least we'll get this and hopefully we'll be able to craft these up. Bit easier. Void interface. And I'll probably find a better area for this stuff. I'm just kind of keeping it near all my crafting tables and stuff. So there is that. And then you siphon this stuff, right clicking this with into the void you can store in mana you can right click more and more of these siphons to store mana you may learn more in the lordcraft knowledge book all right so we want i guess we'll do fire no fire's kind of cool so glass let's do a fire is it fire siphon yeah let's do this one i don't know It matters, but uh, I don't know if we can store more than one type. I actually don't know. So, all right, so we need a fire crystal, which is just four of these, and then a bucket in a arcane thing. So I'm assuming just like that. Nice, and you get four and you get the buck back. Okay, cool. So then the fire siphon is just that and that. All right, so there is fire siphon. Do we need? Yeah, you don't need, it doesn't matter what type it is, looks like. Rune stone crafter, I don't know what that is. So just right click this thing in here. All right. So now we have zero of 1000. Can you have multiple types on there? I have no idea. Oh, it turned red. Sort of. No, it's still changing colors. 
All right, so we got zero out of thousand. <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, buddy. Let me pick up stuff. All right, uh, mana. And then to fill it, oh wait, and then you insert Using a void eye, even if the interface is destroyed, your mana will not be lost. Void eye. You're looking at that. Ah, can't do that quite yet. So, this. There we go. So now we have a thousand. I'm assuming if we want more mana, we have to do another one of those things. Thousand mana to craft. There we go. Oh, that's a bit annoying. All right, so that used up the mana. But we got that and it infused dust. All right, let's try this fire siphon. Just trying to get the the feel for the mechanics here. So if we want, I'm assuming that means, yeah, so a thousand. If I add another fire siphon, I'm assuming that means Get, uh, it'll go up to like a 2,000. Do I have any more glass? No, let's melt up some more glass. Does that give us two? It does give us two. Nice. And some iron. Let's get a whole bunch of iron. So see this go up to 2000 yeah it goes up to 2000 and then all right so that's interesting ish <laughs> now this is a bit annoying there is this other thing these uh gotta check out this mod because there are some look at these like crazy multi-blocks from this modular thing Modular machinery or something it's called. Yes, let's make. I don't know. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. I wonder if this can be automated. God, I hope it can be automated if we need to at some point. All right, question is, we add more if, if I, do I lose it if I right click it? Okay, no, it doesn't. All right. So, it's that. All right, so, rune stones, we haven't learned that yet. Mana infused ingot was, mana infused plus one of those. Okay, I guess we can do that. Did I actually do? I got. I literally just got an infused. Can this be. Pulverized? Yeah, that can't go in a. I don't think that can go in the. The smelter. I feel like I put mana infused in there and it didn't work. But don't quote me on that. And it should no see that doesn't smelt. Does we need? Do we need um? All right. Oh, does that not because of the augmentation? Yeah. All right. It's not gonna let us get even more out of it, which is fine. But uh, all right. So there is that. So. We need like certain metals for certain things. So that doesn't appear to be working. A thousand minutes of craft. Let's 
Do we need like water? Does it say on it? See, it doesn't say anywhere that it needs a certain thing. Is that like... Yeah, so it doesn't... That's a bit confusing. Because like, why isn't that one? How's the mana to craft? I have fire mana. Maybe we need a different type of mana on there, but... Who knows? Because it doesn't tell me. It doesn't say anywhere, right? Do I see any? Yeah. Let's go under... In Forge, maybe? No. See, these things, like, doesn't really give me any... Any sort of... Doesn't tell you anything under these things. All right, uh, let me cut here and see if we can figure out this one and why that doesn't appear. All right? Is that the correct recipe? I feel like that's the correct recipe, right? And infusing it. And if you it, yeah. Oh, it's a shard. Wow. All right. I didn't realize that was a shard. All right. My bad. So we need another one of those. Wow. Did not notice those were two different things. <laughs> All right. So there it goes in there. There we go. It doesn't pop up like, yay, the recipe is correct. So you kind of just have to know the recipes. Obviously, we have JEI, but okay. will that work? Curious. No. That. Yeah. All right. Then we have to keep feeding this thing. So that's a thing. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that mechanic. There we go. All right. So. <laughs> Make sure you have the right item going in there. All right, so we're learning. We are learning. Oh, cool. Is this like a teleport thing? It's kind of cool. All right. So we did kind of want to work towards this Lord Voidic Crystal because it appears that... Not that I really want to be spending stuff on... Rack on um, these, but I don't know. It feels like that is telling me to do that. But I think uh, before we progress more into there, I what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I did want to. Originally, I got into this because I wanted to do blood magic because I wanted to set up some of the cloches so I can. Just start automating some of the mystical agriculture plants. Um, it's kind of what I just, I really like the garden cloches, but remember we need to craft this up. So we needed the black iron. And to get that, we needed the runes. So is that what I want to do? Now that we have the mana infused, we can get this stuff easier. And then... Eventually we can get this. So we can get this automated. It is tier 3, but we'll have to get into some Batania, so... Oh boy. I mean, it is capital mode. That is for sure. So let me kind of think about what I want to do here. Should be continue. Doing this, I don't have enough night metal. Oh, I have a bit of it. Eh. Ooh, I don't have all this stuff though. Yeah, let me cut here and figure out what I want to do, and we will continue. Okay, so I have been kind of searching a little bit. 
kind to get an idea of what I want to do here. And um, like I said, I did want to get the extended crafting for garden cloches, but I think I'm actually going to, instead of doing blood magic, well, one of the reasons is I never looked up the blood altar uh, recipe and it does need these things. So we're gonna have to actually go to Erebus. So um, that's just a, one more step that we're gonna need to get the, the altar. And for that, we need to get dense crystals, which is a Lordcraft thing, which is fine. We've opened that up. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and do that while we are here? I should just craft up a whole bunch of these. All the different types of... Like all the different types of crystals. I should just craft them up for all the, the quest uh, reward things. So there's Dense Crystal. And that should open up... Yeah, that opens up the... This looks like the Erebus thing. But uh, before we get into that, I think what I want to do instead is actually get a little bit into Batania. So we can set up the altar because some of these tier three seeds are really good. Um, and I can just manually craft them up or I can even, uh, I think I can do like a, maybe a mechanical user to harvest them. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But some of these are like really useful, like steel leaf. Ironwood, but we do need the runic altar for that. Mana steel and all sorts of electrotine. We can get electrotine, so. Yeah. I think I think this is what I want to do. So we can start getting tier 3 seeds. And like I said, we can manually uh, harvest them. And then eventually we can get them automated. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. So to get started with Batania, is there actually a Batania? Yeah, there is a Batania thing. Right crystal. Ah, right, because it's locked between by ooh, right crystal. Did we ever get that? I don't know if we got that. The research. Now that I'm thinking about it. Did we get that? Oh we did. All right, so glowstone meaning. Let's get some of this. I feel like we're jumping, we're getting into like a whole bunch of magic mods. We're starting them. We're not getting super far in them, but uh, that's pretty cool. We can see how everything is kind of interconnected in Kappa mode playthrough. So we're digging it so far. There is bright crystals. And we can see how everything's locked by Lordcraft. Some bright crystal and some dye. All right. And then. Go ahead and start getting some of the flowers. Unfortunately, we didn't get any white ones there, did we? No. All right, let's go ahead and do a bit more of that. I guess we might as well just use all those up. Thankfully, this Arcane Forge does not need any, uh, mana because that would be a bit of a pain Come on I just need white and still none 
Come on, Daisy. All right, <laughs> let me let me see if we can get a yeah the the white one. What's it called? White Daisy or Daisy? Yeah, pure Daisy. No, that's not it. Yeah, let me see if we can get that. All right, there it is. Finally got the white one. I've gone ahead and crafted up the flower pouch to uh, store up all the things. So it looks like we finally got all the different colors, but what I'm gonna do here, turn that into white petals, plant them. Um, oatmeal is actually over here, isn't it? Yeah. And do we have shears? We have shears somewhere. We have here. Yeah. We'll right click on those and break that. And those turn into four. I'll do probably a couple more. I think what we do. Do four of them. All right, we got our white, and then we need a pure daisy. Actually, what does it say in the... Yeah, pure daisy and petal apothecary. So, petal apothecary, we need to craft up here. And we need the verdant crystals, which is bright and dense in this mystical flower cluster. make sure we hold on to at least one there is that and then we need dense and pure crystals we need that and then what was the dense was that coal yeah a piece of coal And that will hopefully get us the Where did, I... did I leave that in there? No, what am I talking about? No, I did the glowstone. Sorry, my cat is distracting me because he's like meowing for attention. <laughs> Hold on one second. So oh, there we go. We took care of my cats and we are back. So uh, the bright crystal, dense crystal, and what else did we need? We needed the... Got that. All right, so we need a couple more of those actually. So we need three of those total. So let's do... I'm assuming you can do whatever. Like you can probably mix and match, I'm assuming for this thing. Yeah, doesn't matter. So we got two of those. Oh, yeah, of course you get four from that. What am I thinking? All right, so I'm not gonna use those unless we actually need to. There is that, so we got two of those and then we need a stone. I think that's everything, yep. All right, so there is the apothecary. I'm gonna have to build off. I'll probably build a big, or, boy, I don't know how I wanna do this. I would like a kind of a grass area to do botania in. Feels just weird doing it on top of <laughs> cobblestone. Um, so I will have to do that. But we, in the meantime, we need that away we need water i'm gonna have to get a water source next to it too um yeah let me just for now i may move this now that we don't need this anymore we have plenty of soul sand maybe break this down and expand 
the grass out, maybe. Um, but for right now. That right there. That in there. Ooh, we do need a seed, which is actually convenient. <laughs> it's right there. We need one, two. That's not what I wanted. There. And right click with a seed. Or not right click, you have to throw it in. Right click with empty hand, it puts them all in for you. Two pure daisies. And I'll get a living rock and living wood, and that will about be it for I think this episode to today. Uh man, it's a bit annoying with the stuff kind of in the way, but yeah, let's do that. And some living wood. I'm assuming this is the same, right? I didn't even look. Living wood. Yeah, stone. I'm assuming the other one's the same as well. Yeah. There's that. There's that. And then, yeah, those will change and have living rock and living wood I like that these collection quests only have one you only need one item you don't need like four stacks or stuff like that so um, while that is working why don't we just check out what these look like all right so you do need virgin crystals for that but everything else is similar yeah, virgin crystals it looks like That's just throwing, yeah. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. Um, what is the altar? Is this, yeah, just verdant crystals, mana pearls. All right, so everything's pretty, ah, you need some lumen of this stuff. Oh, hello. That, that is something. That is, that was something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll get into that more uh, next episode. There we go. There is that. And then I know I don't have an axe, but there we go. All right. Pretty happy with that. I will have to look into this. I have one of those, I know. All right, I need a couple more of those, it looks like. But what was that other one really quick? Fernal Claw. Uh, we can get that from those, but... Ah, uh, it's a crafting component. So, all right, we're going to have to go kill some stuff, too. Maybe I'll do that uh, in between episodes as well, get ready for that. And maybe take a look at what other kind of stuff we are looking at here. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool so far. I'm actually really liking the... The gating. I think it's pretty fun. We're kind of getting into a whole bunch of different mods here. Um, before we can get into mystical agriculture. Because it is such a strong mod. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.